Hey everybody, it's Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. And there's one thing that I learned from Harvey Freebird that I want you to know so that you will never forget it either. And that is, never ever get close enough to a police officer where they can grab you. So if you open the door to your house and they don't have a warrant, guess what? They can grab you and they can pull you out or push their way in. That's first. Number two, it's not against the law to argue with somebody. You can argue with whoever you want to. It's not against the law. Number three, you do not have to identify yourself unless they first provide you a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. And number four, police will lie. They'll lie in the police report. They'll lie in affidavits. They'll lie in the witness stand. All you got to do to believe me for that is read the police report. Look at the body cam footage. Hmm, how come they never match? So today we're looking at a couple who opened the door to the police. And this is what happened to them. They got bum rushed and... They got handcuffed and they got manhandled. All for what? Well, let's find out, shall we? We don't have video of the cops bum rushing their way in and assaulting this couple because they did not know police were at their door when they opened it. Things had already gotten a little bit more calmed down. And I'll tell you what, I would never have been as calm as this woman was. Okay. Can you please, yeah, there's obviously me and him here okay. and we're not fighting, we were asleep. Okay. Well, and and you guys just got really a investigation. We can go from there. okay. What what investigation? I already explained that to you. Okay, what so do you, you need to, to see, conduct? Right There's nothing but people with purple hair that live right here. Okay, leave it alone. Why are you going through my house? Stay back. That is mine, Stay and back. I am legally authorized to have it. Then you can have it back. Okay. Hey, I need you guys' names and IDs, badge numbers, <laughs> all that. I need your ID. You give that to them? I was in bed asleep, man. You got your ears, Robert. Up? Robert. Hey, listen, we're trying to figure out what's going on. We're trying to Who are you figuring it out from? We're the two people. We're not fighting. And if you keep interfering, you're going to go in here. Babe, leave it alone. Go please. sit down on please. the couch. Babe, leave it alone, please. Babe, leave it alone. I'm not doing anything. Why are you being aggressive with us? We were sleeping. Okay. Stop. All right. Wow. Here come the handcuffs in her own house. I don't know what made you think we're out here playing games. We're not, we're not playing a game. We were sleeping. We're, I'm asking you questions. Now, sit down mm -hmm. and stay, stay there. Okay. Wow. This is insane. Can somebody answer me some questions, please? I will hear shortly. Just hang tight. This is insane. Okay. <laughs> he hurt his head at work. He dropped a, his drill. This is insane. Okay. Well, we're here for an investigation, ma'am. Okay. When the police come conduct an investigation, we're here lawfully. Okay? Okay. You cannot shut the door on the police when we're trying to conduct an investigation. The mm -hmm. best thing to do is just cooperate. If nothing happened, we would have been gone 15 seconds ago after we initially got here. Okay. We could have talked to you. We could have talked to him. Hey, nothing happened. Hey, nothing okay. happened. All right, can but we when, there's, that when there's kicking and screaming no, no, and no. arguing and yelling, we it, this prolongs the investigation even further, okay? We don't, we don't just come around. Do you suspect that I committed a crime? We don't know yet, ma'am. Okay, well, I don't, okay. Why are we being detained? Why did I get put into handcuffs? Because we're still conducting an investigation, Investigation is that you got called here because we were too, we were fighting. We are obviously both stated we are not fighting. We were both asleep. Okay, well. The, the house was literally dark. The TV was on. There was no screaming and yelling. We were asleep. Why am I being detained? Because we're still investigating. Okay, what else is we there to investigate? We gotta go talk to all the witnesses that called in. We gotta, we, I still gotta, I still have- So you're gonna keep me in handcuffs and detain me? Yes, ma'am. For what? I am not a criminal. I have never been arrested. I, I do not arrested. have a record. Okay. I, I'm not being violent. I was asleep, I'm sick, okay. and I was doing nothing. We opened our doors and you guys attacked us. Okay. Well, here's That's the what happened. You attacked me. I was just put into handcuffs by two of you people and I am being detained in my own home. Are you gonna let me talk? Apparently, I don't have a choice to let you guys do anything because otherwise you'll just do what you do. Are you going to let me talk? Okay, then.
Uh, what's your name? Lori Arnold. O O R I or Y? I. I Arnold. Yes. What's your date of birth? One seventy-two. What was it? One. Do you know your driver's license number from memory? No, I do not. Do you know your social? Yes, I do. What is that? Why am I being asked all these questions? Ma'am, we have to conduct an investigation. Okay. When we do that, we have to identify everybody. Okay. And once we conclude if there was or was not a crime, mm -hmm. I'm not the primary officer. I'm here to assess, but the primary officer cannot conduct his investigation because he's all yelling, he's screaming. He was. He was. Okay. Do you know your social or not? Yeah. Okay. I do. What, what is that, ma'am? Five two six. Okay, Lori, is there a good phone number for you? Mm-hmm. 623. Is your ID or driver's license from Missouri or from, uh, I think, I, I saw Arkansas. Arkansas? Arkansas? Can you take these cuffs off me? I'm not a violent criminal. You're, you're in a little bit, okay? 332, one arrest. Really Last name Arnold Adam Robert Nora Ocean Lincoln David. First name Lori Lincoln Ocean Robert Ida. Date of birth. It's gonna be a white female out of Arkansas. She provided a nine digit of five. Have you guys went to help the people that actually need your help? Is there anybody else in this house? No, there isn't, and I don't really ask you to I don't ask you to walk around my home. I'm not giving you permission to walk around my home. Okay. Anything you find in your search or seizure is not... Oh, shush. We're not searching or seizing anything. Okay. Well, I don't know why you're walking around if it was just me and Robert fighting. Because we were told there was... Oh, I thought you were fighting. fighting. Well, that's what you guys are saying. You we were me. sleeping, man. Okay. We were sleeping. You just contradicted yourself. No, you guys are in my house going through my house, and you guys have not given me any reason why you are holding me and detaining me. Obviously, if we were fighting, you've just got the two people and only people in the home that were asleep when you arrived. She said she had an ID. Get up. So when Out people open the doors on, it makes us think that they might be someone that's hurting here. Someone that maybe there's a crime that occurred here. Right. We don't know that. Okay. And by yeah. getting the door slammed on our faces, that's not <laughs> that's that's not helping anybody. Okay. Right. Well, I have, no. We didn't we didn't drive by and decide. You know what? We're gonna okay. walk to this lady's house. Right. And I understand. Her. Are you gonna go find out who called? So that's Maybe what, you could track that number and figure out who was calling you guys making false reports. That's probably the crime there, not two people sleeping. So that I'm not the primary officer, ma'am. I'm just here to assist. The primary officer is doing his investigation right now. Okay. I wasn't upset. Just woke up well, abruptly. Not being upset. You, you know your interpretation, sir. What what can I do for you? Did I commit a crime? Technically, you kind of did when I what told I... you to sit down and keep your mouth shut. And okay. You're interfering with us trying to talk to Robert. Technically, you did. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So, do you want to talk to me now? Yes, sir. I'm waiting for you to tell me what okay. what you're here for. So, this is where this is what I'm curious about. Why is one of your neighbors calling in and describing you? with purple hair having an altercation in the driveway. I don't know, maybe you should track that 911 call and you should her. ask them. I've already talked to her. I've okay. already talked to her. 
Okay. Informed this house. Okay. I don't know. Did she make it up? Apparently she did. Okay. We were asleep. <clears throat> uh, that's all you need to know what happens now. Right. <clears throat> Where's my husband? He's in, he's in jail. For what? For resisting and felon to so you guys just barged in my house. I've already explained it to you. No, I understand your version. But my version is we didn't commit a crime. We were sleeping in our house. Okay. I've tried to explain it to you. Okay, that's where we're at on it. That's exactly what happened. But according to their reports and their affidavits and their lies on the witness stand, we know what's really going to happen. So the last question I have is this. Why am I the bad guy? Why is everybody who reports on the shenanigans of the police the bad guy? Why are we considered frauditors and instigators when it's your own police force that are the ones making the shenanigans? Do you want police officers that lie? Do you want police officers that lie on affidavits and even on the witness stands? And why don't you ever review the body cameras? And why are you always maliciously, unlawfully arresting us, the bad guy? and calling us the bad guy. I wish somebody on the Fort Worth City Council would explain to me why I'm the bad guy. I'm sure one of the trolls will try to, but I want somebody from the Fort Worth City Council to tell me why I'm the bad guy and why am I still being maliciously hunted down and prosecuted for a crime I never committed. Is one of you brave enough to tell me?